Folks have had a subscriber tonight asking about backlight problems with the GoPro Hero 3. Of course, anytime you're shooting video and you have a bright light source like a wind or whatever, or uh, this person is flying airplanes, I guess, and they're not being able to see the foregrounds because of the sun, maybe in the background. Sun's brutal. I mean, it's, it's true that it's hard to uh, get good video out of that kind of situation, but I will show you how Shadow Highlight helps in uh, W Premier Pro CC. Of course, it doesn't have to be the CC version if you have CS6, uh, CS5, it should work just as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you a demo here in a uh, art studio that I shot last week for a television commercial that shows you know, just how effective it can be. So there's some bright lights here, these windows, and I'm going to apply the um, shadow highlight effect there, as you see. And what you can do, you can dial this back. You can blend the shadow highlight if it gets too harsh. I think sometimes the auto settings out of Premiere Pro CC are a little too harsh. So I try to dial it back. Sometimes I mix it 50%. Uh, there's a place here where you can do that uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro where you can actually dial it back. And so that's kind of what I do to get rid of the, uh, of the shadow highlight problem or, or the actually backlight problem. Shadow highlight works pretty good. You have to just use it to use your you know, best determination, your best, um, I guess, judgment as to how much of it you can apply uh, before the video starts to look artificial. I don't like mine to look fake. So there you go, in two minutes, a little quick demo of what can be done very easily by dropping a filter in in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Cheers, peace, thanks for watching.